Hello, welcome back of, to Stories of Your Stuff. I'm Eric Cheever, Collections Curator here at Stern's History Museum. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a large two-gallon crockery jug that was brought in by one of our members. This guy right here. Two-gallon crockery jug, looks like it was uh, manufactured by Red Wing and it's labeled with the California Wine House, St. Cloud, Minnesota. So, the member brought this jug in. She said that her, her husband had found the jug in the basement of a house several years back. Other than that, they have no, no other information. She asked us to find out what the California wine house was and what exactly this jug was used for. Interestingly, this jug has ties to the very early days of commercial St. Cloud. The California wine house was a saloon and liquor store which operated from 1896 until 1914 and was located at the corner of 5th and St. Germain, 502 St. Germain Street to be exact. This is a historic location. The second frame building ever constructed in St. Cloud was built here in 1855 by Joseph Edelbrock to house his general merchandise store. Edelbrock's building housed a number of St. Cloud firsts, including the first mass, the first school, the first bank, and was home to the St. Cloud Union newspaper. In 1881, Edelbrock moved his wood frame store and constructed a red brick commercial building which stood for many years. Joseph retired in 1891 selling his store to his son-in-law who promptly drove the business into the ground. Enter Nick Lambert. Lambert was an early saloon keeper in St. Cloud who purchased the 502 St. Germain property as home for his new business venture called the California Wine House. There were six other successful California wine house locations in Minnesota at the time, including Minneapolis, St. Paul, Mankato, Duluth, and Crookston. So it must have seemed like a good and safe bet. These larger jugs were sold to physicians and others who would prescribe wine to treat ailments. Hey, you could go to the doctor and come home with a bottle of wine. Here is a testimonial letter from a physician in St. Paul singing the praises of California wine house wine. <clears throat> Gentlemen, for the last two and one half years, I have been using your wines and brandies in my practice and have prescribed them in many different cases for sicknesses and with good results. I can conscientiously recommend them as perfectly pure and unadulterated. Very truly yours, Dr. K.H.E. Castle, St. Paul. They were also used by other businesses and individuals that needed wine in larger volume than the standard quart bottle of the time. The jugs were also available in a one gallon size. Think of it as the box wine of its day. Lambert successfully ran the California Wine House until June 30, 1914 when he closed up shop and filed for bankruptcy. It is interesting that in his petition for bankruptcy his liabilities were listed as $8,774.90 well, his assets were $8,676.25. He filed for bankruptcy over $98.65. The location was immediately taken over by Val Tyson and John May, becoming the corner cigar store and billiard hall, and was heavily remodeled. This building would remain a bar eatery for the next 106 years until arson claimed it in a spectacular nighttime fire in February of 2020. 502 St. Germain had been known as the Press Bar since 1946 and had been an institution to generations of St. Cloud folk. The fire claimed one of St. Cloud's most historic commercial properties and left a gaping hole in the fabric of the city. And there we have it. Box wine, circa 1900. It was there to cure what ails ya. And to top it off, we got a nice little historic walking tour of 502 St. Germain Street, one of the most significant commercial properties in historic St. Cloud, and at one time, your connection to the sunny vineyards of California. So thank you so much for watching, and keep sending us pictures of your stuff. <laughs>